The, the Gila monster is the most charismatic reptile we have in, in Arizona for sure. We have seen temperatures increasing in the Tucson area. Gila monsters, you know, depend on humidity, and if, if humidity goes down lower early in the, in the season, that could affect their activities. For Gila monsters, that might be a big deal because they tend to be um, actually not a very well physiologically adapted desert species in the sense that they lose water across their skin pretty easily. The Gila monster has the distinction of being one of only two potentially dangerously venomous lizards in the world. This is a really cool lizard that people can really relate to. It's a symbol of the Southwest and it's something that we care about deeply. And the Gila monsters are a pretty mysterious animal. You don't see them. They spend a lot of their time underground. But I think everybody remembers the first time they ever saw one. They're large, they're colorful, they don't look like other lizards. Well, the Gila monster is one of only two species in the beaded lizard family. They're called that because if you were to feel the top surface of a Gila monster, you would feel little bumps on it. And when you see it, it doesn't look really fleet and fast, and it's not. The Gila monster actually has evolved to, to be a nest predator, so it doesn't have to be fast. If you see one and it doesn't see you, you can track them for a mile. What you do is let the animal just, whenever it's you're not in its field of vision, then you can gain ground and follow it. And if it gets even hotter and drier, you might at some point run out of, of appropriate habitat for Gila monsters. And there's a Gila monster. Fortunately, we do have areas that are set aside that are natural, you know, that are the, the protected home for Gila monsters like Soar National Park. Um, but, you know, those areas are, um, those natural desert areas, there's, there's fewer acres of that every year. The, the Wyoming toad is found only in the Laramie Plains of Wyoming. It's found nowhere else in the world, and it has the maybe unfortunate distinction of being one of the most endangered amphibians in North America, and I think the most endangered amphibian in the United States. 